Let's make some sugar shine. Put five gallons of water in there. And 40 pounds of sugar. It's two pounds of sugar for every gallon of water. I'm doing a 20 gallon mash. I got 15 gallons in my trash barrel. I got five gallons in here. I'm gonna dissolve it, add it to the trash barrel. I'll show you. That's dissolved. I cut my heat off. I'm letting it cool down. Now I'm gonna add my five gallons of water, my 40 pounds of sugar to this 15 gallons of water over here. So that's a total of 20 gallons of water. 40 pounds of sugar, two pounds of sugar per gallon of water and gives you 1.080. Now I'm gonna put some yeast nutrient in. If you ever make this, you, you probably don't need this, but if you ever do make any type of stuff, you know, sugar shine, moonshine, and it starts to stink, have a funky smell, it means your yeast is stressed out. And you need to put some sort of nutrient in it. If you don't have this, you could put raisins in there. Anything for that yeast to help that yeast work. I'm going to stir this up, and then I'm going to add some yeast. Um, I put four tablespoons of Red Star Dady. Uh, I put four tablespoons of Dady in there. Um, so that's it. I'm going to stir it up, put a fish tank heater on it and uh, let it sit. She's ready. Ready to run. I'm gonna take this pom pump, pump about 12 or 13 gallons into that keg right there. Then we're gonna hook up our steel. Gonna put this element down in here, run through electric. Toxic water gave me that. It's pretty damn cool. All right, I got it rolling. Running my new new uh, water chiller. There she is, I'm running electric. Using Toxic Waters heating element. And it, this is working good so far. I just had to back my heat down because I was just started rolling not too long ago. But uh, it's not coming out with a high proof, which I'm fine with as long as it maintains. Um, it's coming out at 120 proof. I think that uh might need to drill some holes in this and kind of put some pipe, run some cold water in there and get some reflux action. But it is what it is. Cheap little bubble plate. Um, it works. You think that it would be coming out of there stronger, but... It's just a cheap little Chinese bubble plate still. I bought it from Lion Brewing. They sell a lot of cheap shit. But uh, it looks cool. Uh, we'll see how many jars we get. See how long it maintains. 120 proof. That sugar went all the way. I really like that thing. That's, that's running cold water. No more buying ice. Men of the tails. I'm gonna run her all the way down. Get some tails out of her too. All right, I got a gallon of, of clean shine and I got just a little over a gallon of uh, tails. Um, you could do what you want with it. You could drink this. I recommend flavoring it. Um, maybe, maybe proofing it to what you know, 
you don't want sugar shine at high proof. <laughs> but I'm just saying it, it, it is what it is. I don't really like to do sugar shine too much. Um, sometimes it's necessary. Uh, you could fortify other things with this liquor. You can mix it all together and call it, you know, tails. Uh, and just fortify your other mashes when it's time to run them. You can proof with this stuff. Uh, I wouldn't proof with this stuff. You can proof with this stuff. Um, do, do with it what you want. I know a guy that brews nothing but sugar shine. And they drink the hell out of it. <laughs> a lot of people drink it. Um, it, and I'll drink it, but it's my least favorite way to make moonshine. And anytime there's corn around, I'm gonna use corn, straight up. Uh, but that's sugar shine. One thing I need to let you know about it is, it's finicky when you're making a sugar shine mash. You'll have way more problems out of sugar shine than you will any regular old corn, corn liquor or anything else. Um, there's always a pH problem, a nutrient problem. That's why I sprinkle a little nutrient in it and I cook it. If you don't cook it, you're probably gonna have a problem. I know my experience, I just dumped sugar in a barrel before, tried to go at it. It went three quarters of the way and then it just stopped. Kicked that shit over in the driveway. Uh, started new, 40 pounds of sugar, 20, pounds, 20 gallons of water, it give you 1.080. So every every gallon of sugar, every gallon of water, two pounds of sugar. No matter what you're doing, unless you're getting some sugar from somewhere else. So if you add fruit, you could lessen the amount of sugar. But that will give you that proper uh, gravity reading that you want. Uh, hope you liked my video. And if you didn't, fuck your mama, bitch.